So previously on Paper Mario Pro Mode, we saved all the Yoshi kids, and everyone's very happy about it. All the Yoshis are happy. Colorado, well, he's not happy because he doesn't have his treasure yet. Yoshi Elder gave us a special little raven statue, which we are going to take full advantage of. We can now explore a new part of the forest with it. I'm sorry, not the forest, the jungle. Thankfully, we have this nice little shortcut here. And Sushi can help us get across. These plants have always been interesting. I've always wondered if they do something, but as far as I can tell, they literally just make that little sound there. Alright, we can put the Jade Raven here and enter the depths of the jungle. We're off to Raphael the Raven's house. And then Mount Lava Lofta right after that. Um, what's my badge set up again? Do I still have Mega Rush equipped? Because I really don't need that if I'm not at 1 HP. Yeah, I don't need Mega Rush or a Last Stand or Close Call. I'm going to get Feeling Fine, because that's always good to have. And I'm going to re equip uh, Power Quake. That spear guy has his spear aimed right at my chest. Oh yeah, Power Quake still insta-kills everything. Excellent. We're now at the part of the game where I really wish there was... I really wish you could have more than 30 BP. But alas. Because I kind of want to equip, like, the Super Flower Saver badge. Yeah, the Flower Fanatic. But I would need to spare two... Let's unequip damage dodge for the time being. Because with the Flower Fanatic, this will let us conserve our FP a little bit more. Which I think is a little more important. I hear fuzzies! Oh my gosh, that is a lot of fuzzies. Good thing we... Good thing we equipped the uh, Flower Fanatic badge. Now Power Quake only takes as much FP as a regular Quake Hammer would. Without all this f uh, fancy know-how. All of these power boosting uh, badges are really helping out, making these enemies really easy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a lot of fuzzies. This fight again. I definitely want to get rid of those fuzzies as soon as possible. They are very annoying. We're going to have to do some badge change-up in the actual dungeon, though. But that's okay, because Quake Hammer is probably not going to be... Or Power Quake is probably not going to be that important in the dungeon, because there are quite a few... Well, at the very least, there are lava bubbles that are floating. And thus are not affected by it. Blah. I wonder if the game was supposed is trying to make me avoid the fuzzy battles, but nah way. With all these power boosting badges, I can literally just obliterate them without them even getting a chance to attack.
boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that is one powerful geyser that can make the rock lift like that. Hey, Janae, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Oh, darn it. I always forget that that one has the fuzzy in it. One of them has a fuzzy, but a couple of them have items. I can save Power Quake for when I really need it. Stupid fuzzy. Get out of here. In the previous couple of episodes, I have... I now have three badges that are boosting my attack power by one, so I'm now doing just stupid amounts of damage to enemies. <coughs> Fire flower. One of these trees has an egg in it. Actually, maybe I already missed that tree. Wee! Oh, that's right. Thank you, I spy. Grow! Okay, putrid piranha time. And we have quick change, so it doesn't really matter. Chomp! Oh, great! The Magikoopa starts already transparent. It's a white Magikoopa, one of the magicians of the Koopa Clan. Yep, he's a healer. And he has a lot of HP. Fun. I'm gonna use Chill Out then. Cause I... Oh, I should Do I still have Feeling Fine Equipped? I, I should still have Feeling Fine Equipped. Maybe not, actually. Alright, so their attack power went down. Sure enough. <laughs> They're all trying to poison me. Wow, Mr. Magikoopa still... is transparent. Oh darn it, why did I think Goombario would take him out? <laughs> yes, please, please keep breathing on me. Alright, so he's just gonna keep making himself transparent. Well, that's Hunky Dory. I'm okay with that. And Magikoop is gonna run like the coward he is. We get six star points! Nice job. Oh, yes. One of the best tracks in the whole game. I mean, this game is filled with amazing music tracks, but this one is particularly beautiful. I love the track for Raphael the Raven's House. And we get the other Happy Heart Badge. This music is just phenomenal. Oh! Welcome! Sorry I'm so surprised, but I can't even remember the last time someone came up here. It's sure been a while. What? Oh yes! Affirmative! I'm the master of this island. Call sign, Raphael the Raven. 
If you have any problems at all, just let me know, okay? Go on, get out of it. Ah, oh, so you're Mario. I see, roger that. You can't find a way to reach the volcano, is that it? Yeah, that's a problem. Not for me, though. I'll help. To be honest with you, I knew you'd ask something like that. I got a message from the stars, so I knew you were coming. I've got something exceptional to give you that ought to help you on your way. But that's for later. Right now, let's take care of that volcano problem, okay? Ka-ka-ka! I love how Raphael the Raven went from a boss in Yoshi's Island to, like, one of your helpers in Paper Mario. Ka-ka-ka! Excellent response time, Ravens. We've got work to do. I'll brief you only once, so I want your full attention. And it must be done just as quickly as possible. Got it? I should hope so. Let's move, Ravens! Follow me! I love the feet on the ravens. I think I've mentioned this every time I play Paper Mario, but I really love the designs of the ravens and their adorable little toes. Heave ho! Come on, then. Shortcut. Aye, aye, all right. Is everyone ready? Now, Ravens, get to work! Oh, that poor little guy. This won't take long. Hmm, <laughs> what in blazes? Roger that. You can't. Re you can reach the volcano now. Oh, top notch! Really, Nick would appear. We can enter the volcano, dear boy. What luck, eh, Mario? I shan't delay another moment. The ancient treasures are calling me. Onward! That Koopa! What a maverick! Charging into the volcano. He's bold. I'll give him that. Bold and certifiably nuts! But enough about that, I want to give you that important item I was talking about. Here, take it. We get the Ultra Stone! Yes, we can upgrade party members to Ultra Rank now. That's an Ultra Stone! I found it a long time ago in the depths of this jungle. Now that you have this stone, when you find a Super Block, you can upgrade one of your party members from the Super Rank to the Ultra Rank. Strengthening the members of your party will be key to your success, trust me. That's what a Star Spirit told me in a dream. Use it and prosper! I've got to go now. Over and out. What a guy, that Raphael the Raven. Okay. So, we're gonna enter the volcano now. Let's see. So, I've got big plans. Big plans for badge setup. Alright. We're not going to use Power Quake. However, we are going to use Multi Bounce. I'll tell you why. One other badge that we're gonna definitely want is the... Okay. Because we don't have uh, Power Quake anymore, we will not be needing Flower Fanatic. I'll just equip Flower Saver. I don't think we need HP plus either. We're about to level up, and I'll probably level up HP when I get there. I do definitely want Ice Power. I'll keep feeling fine for now. I'm going to equip Power Rush and Mega Rush. And Spike Shield, because that'll help me with the Spike Tops. Yep, I think that's all we really need. Zip line. I'm gonna get an FP refill and enter Mount Lava Lava. Best dungeon in the game. Identified as Mario. Alert. Report to boss. Alert. Alert. I love the music in here. It's so panic-inducing. Hmm. I sense danger here. 
All adventures are dangerous, though, so what of it? We must press on toward the glory of an unknown treasure. Ouch. Yeah! What's wrong with this rock? It sank right into the lava! Wuss. This, this track perfectly encapsulates being in a volcano that's going to erupt at any moment. Alright. Lava bubbles. We've already tattled on them. And if my calculations are correct, which they are not... Oh, that's right. Okay, well, this is where we're gonna have Cooper help us out. That's right. We need to activate Power Rush before we can kill those Lava Bubbles in one hit. Hey, Cooper! <laughs> you're, on a, you're on an adventure of Colorado, just like you always wanted. Oh! <laughs> Almost missed that! Nobody saw that. Ouch! Oh, hi! New Magic Koopa. That's right, Red Magic Koopa's popping in here. Red Magic Koopa, let's see. Oh yeah, he can up, up the attack power. That's that's right. Go on, up someone's attack power. Do it. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Boom. Bum, ba -da -dun, dun 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 Oh, shoot. Wait, hang on. I am pretty sure I did it bad. Yeah, I did it bad. I was supposed to take all my snowman dolls out of the, um, shop. Well, good thing we're still at the... You know what? No. After I get the Ultra Hammer, I'll go back. Ouch. Chain Chomps, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Cooper can't even scratch the Chain Chomp. Luckily, Mario can. Youch. There we go, six star points. We're full on BP, let's up our HP. <laughs> Alright. Gonna save just in case. Whoops. Dropped too late. Oh, great. Transparent Magic Koopas. This is this is all I need. <laughs> well, that was that was strange. Yeah, I've always found Cooper to be pretty helpful in Mount Lava Lava. Yeah, run away, run away. Cooper's good against the ground-based piranha, uh, putrid piranhas as well as the lava bubbles. So I actually enjoy using him in this area. I know most people use sushi, which is probably a better idea, but honestly, sushi I don't really use except for the boss fight. Alright, Paracarry. Using you for stage utility. I don't know why, but I've always liked that puzzle. Cutting off the lava flow by pushing blocks. It's 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 unique. Alrighty. Go 
Come to me, Ultra Hammer. <laughs> That's a lot of lava bubbles. Talk on it. Stop putting me up against these piranha, uh, these invisible magic koopas. Uh oh, that's bad. I did not time the action command on that properly. Whoosh, 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 boom. Gonna heal him, eh? That ain't gonna do squat. Man, yeah, with the right badge setup, these enemies are a joke. Also, when you have 30 BP and, like, all of the attack boosting badges, that definitely helps. Frightening, if it weren't for the fact that I could kill him with a single hammer blow. And then Cooper can finish him off. Sweet, I don't even have to change to a more powerful party member. Nice job. Nice job, Cooper. Ooh, Super Shroom for free. I like that. We get the Ultra Hammer! Attack power increases, and now we can destroy the metal blocks. Alright, so our hammer attacks are just gonna be, like, unbelievably powerful now. I think we do 9 damage now with just a regular hammer attack with our badge setup right now. Gets boosted even more if we're fighting fiery enemies, and boosted even further if we're in danger or peril. Is this still Dizzy Stomp? Whoa! Hey there! You are not supposed to be up here. There we go. Ow! That wasn't nice. Oh my gosh, yeah, nine damage with one hammer attack. And for some reason, these piranhas don't bite your head if you tread jumping on them, which I appreciate that. Honestly, these piranhas are not even as annoying as the Forever Forest ones. Yep, okay, that's still Dizzy Stomp. Not a great badge, but I'm, I want to grab it. At this point, I'm basically going for 100%. <laughs> Paper Mario is one of those games that I really enjoy 100%ing, so... I'm happy to do it. Alright, now before I go a whole lot farther in the dungeon... I really should be getting back to... Whoop. Whoop. I should be getting back to the store. First, we need to get the Fire Shield badge, because that's going to be really useful against the boss. Thank goodness you get the Fire Shield badge here, because if you got it any later, it would be an absolutely awful badge. Alright. Me and my buddy Paracarry, we're going to head out of the volcano. <laughs> Me and my buddy Paracarry are going to wait patiently for the platform to return so we can leave the volcano and take out a bunch of snowmen that I've stored in Yoshi's Cabana. Because if you don't use your snowman dolls at this point, like, what are you even doing with your life? They're not really going to be useful after that. <laughs> Plus, using the snowman dolls against the boss is really fun. <laughs> I love the snowman dolls. They're my... They're definitely the... They're, they're probably not the... They're definitely not the best of the attacking items, but they're the most fun to use. They've got... I love the animation of them. 
All right, come on, Paracarry. <laughs> Man, those Ravens build zip lines real fast. Can I can I hire that crew to build something at my house? All right, Yoshi's Cabana. Oh, we can't store any more items. Okay. Give me that snowman doll. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> well, this will either take a while or we have to sell stuff. I don't need a sleepy sheep. Honestly, I also don't need the egg missile. It's a fun item, but I really don't need it. So how many... I think I have three more snowman dolls in here. Or no, just one. Okay. That's fine. I don't need more than three. <laughs> Paracarry's like, um, I'm just, I'm just the mailman. Do you really want me to go into the volcano? Yes. Do you want me to attack the enemies? Oh, no, definitely not. I appreciate the work that you do, Mr. Raven. <laughs> Paracarry looks so graceful right there. <laughs> I love it. He's just like, hmm, yes, this is happening. Alright, I'm not using Power Rush or Mega Rush like I thought I was, so I'm going to unequip those and equip uh, Fire Shield. And I'll be making some more modifications when I get close to the boss. Oh, hi there. No, we're not fighting you. We've already fought you. Plus, if I want to fight enemies, I'll just wait to next world and fight the Amazie Daisies. Uh, I love the fire bars. It's like jump rope, but with risk. <laughs> Plus, you get money out of it. And Mom said that jump roping wasn't a lucrative career. Alright, so the question is, who do we upgrade first? Obviously, we're gonna, one of the two upgrade blocks we're going to use on Sushi in here, because Sushi's Tidal Wave is really good against the, uh, the boss. Honestly? Hmm. We might as well upgrade Sushi first. Like, if you don't upgrade Sushi here, or at the next upgrade block, then... There's not much point in upgrading her at all. I Realistically, I probably won't even need her power because I have this lovely little thing called uh, snowman dolls, but... And I just realized that had I upgraded Goombario, I would have been able to take out that Magikoopa. But no, he's just going to run off. I need to stop fighting every enemy that I see. <laughs> At least out of the ones that I've fought before. <laughs> I say, Mario, why did you leave the volcano? <laughs> it's okay, Cooper. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, Colorado. My finely honed intuition tells me that great discoveries lie just beyond here. But there's this mysterious block in the way. Curses! What to do? Yes! Excellent! Now, Mario, no time to hang about! Onward to glory! 
Thank goodness all these zip lines are in it. Just <laughs> Cooper's just like Colorado. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sneak away. Hmm. It smells like treasure. Treasure, old boy. Make way. I'm going ahead. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably fine. Second upgrade block. Here I will upgrade Gumbario. Because Gumbario gets his damage buffed to 6 instead of just 4, which is a big boost. Plus, multi bonk with charge is kind of broken. Boom, that's gotta hurt. That's also gotta hurt. It's kinda weird seeing Chain Chomps in Mount Lava Lava. That is not an enemy I expected to see, but I, I, can, I can dig it. They needed to introduce some new enemy to, uh, to Mount Lava Lava. Otherwise it would have been just kinda boring and easy. Because all the enemies we'd seen before. Hi there, Spike Top. Uh, don't mind me, Mario. Just investigating this floor a bit more closely. Uh, you go on ahead. Oh, my achy... Eh. I kind of feel bad for the guy. But also, he's a great comic relief character. Alright. Man, I'm taking a lot of damage. Ironically, I I can't believe I only have 15 FP right now, and I'm still doing great. It helps that I have those FP saving badges. But honestly, I was fully expecting to be going mostly FP, but nope, don't even need it. I am much more in need of HP. Wee 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 wee! Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, that's going so fast! Well, if you didn't have Speedy Spin there, you'd be screwed. Oh wait, oh wait. You can totally use Bow. That's probably what you were... Realistically, that's probably what you're supposed to do in the regular game, is to use Bow to avoid that, but... Speedy Spin also works. Come here, Cooper. Your power shell is needed. Honestly, I might upgrade Cooper again pretty qu quickly. Next part to remember I'm going to upgrade is definitely Watt, because Watt is amazing at Ultra Rank, but Cooper might not be that far behind. Like, I might upgrade Cooper before uh, Bo, certainly before Bombette. Honestly, yeah, I'm... One of the few complaints I have about this hack is that um, Bombette is nowhere near as useful as she normally is. <laughs> oh, that's still so amusing. Like, PowerShell, I have been using a lot in this uh, hack, and it has been really good. Even at just free damage. Heck, even when it was just two damage, it was still really useful. Because for Paper Mario Pro Mode, the key is to just kill all the enemies before they even get a chance to attack. And hitting all enemies on the ground definitely helps with that. There aren't that many aerial enemies in this game.
They seem to really favor the breath attack. Which is interesting. I don't remember it being that way in the vanilla game, but I could be wrong. And yes, in case people couldn't notice, I really don't use sushi for combat that much. I use sushi in combat for the boss of this area, and that's about it. Just because ice power is so much better. All I really need is Cooper's power shell. Okay, now they're biting. Now they're biting. Well, you know, folks, this means that we can equip power, uh, power rush <laughs> to deal even more damage. If we want to. I'm actually not going to pick up that heart for that very reason. Power Rush and Last Stand. That should give me some good survivability. Mario! W wait one moment! According to the information I've gathered, the hidden treasure should be right around here, but I need to go a little farther. Okay then, bro. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare to use bow for this upcoming spike ball, because I think we're gonna have to. I someone tells me it's gonna be rolling just as fast as the last one. And I only barely made it for the last one by the skin of my teeth. Yeah, you literally would have to use bow there. Barely nicked me! Oh boy! Oh my poor shell! Ow! Okay, that's, that one I do feel bad for him about. Like, that's gotta really hurt. Close! So very close! My treasure hunting senses are simply going mad right now! My intuition tells me it's over here! Oh wait, did I literally just equip Power Rush in the last stand at a point where I... I'm about to fight the boss. I sure did. Okay, badge setup time, folks. So let's see. I I do not think I need multi bounce. So multi bounce is a nope. Quick change I'm gonna want. No spike shield. No last stand. No power. None of that. I do want damage dodge. Um, Tumpin tells me I might be wanting feeling fine just in case he has status effects. Actually, no, if he has status effects, I'll find out the hard way. I'm okay with that. Um... Power jump is going to be worse than just two regular jumps, so I'm going to do jump charge. Nah, not jump charge. My, my attack power is so high that it's going to be best just to jump every time. Actually, I think I will equip multi-bounce, just in case we want to jump on everything, all of the piranha's heads at once. Group focus, maybe? Nah, not group focus. Ooh, actually? I'm gonna go for Happy Heart. Happy Heart actually might be genuinely useful in this, in this fight. I'm gonna try it. Oh, yeah. I got a Super Shroom. Okay, I'd get out of here, Mushroom. Maple Syrup. Get out of here, Fire Flower. We can buy you at the shop. Oh, huh? There seems to be nothing. Alas, even my finely honed intuition can be wrong on occasion. I shall not give up. Let's head back the other way. Perhaps the treasure is a bit deeper down in the volcano. Yes, perhaps. It's hot, hot! Scorching hot! It's like being slowly cooked from the bottom up! It hot grease! On a hot day! I can't take it anymore! 
Sorry, Gumbario, but I need you to tattle on the boss. <laughs> Oh yeah, one of my all-time favorite video game bosses coming up. Mario still approaching! Identified as searching for Star Spirit! Code Red, report to boss! Alert! Alert! Lava Piranha time! Yuck, yuck, yuck! You made it, Mario! You guys! Bad guys! Bad guys come to steal Star Spirit! Bad guys who come to steal Star Spirits get hurt! We won't let it happen! No! We trap Star Spirit! We get this volcano! Volcano is ours! Good deal! We make things hot for you! We beat you, Mario! Oh, Lava Piranha! I adore this fight. It is such a good fight! Lava Bud! Lava Buds are the little fiery plants. Okay, how much HP do these guys have? Twelve. Great. Oh, Lava Piranha's got a lot of defense. So maybe I should have equipped Jump Charge or Power Jump. Okay, this is going to be a tough fight. This is the Lava Piranha. Lava Piranhas can somehow survive in fire. Oh, boy. That is hard to action guard. Okay, well, I never thought I would say this, but, um, looks like Watt's going to be our best bet for this fight. I don't think I've ever used Watt for the Lava Piranha fight before. It's an unusual feeling. Alright. Potato salad time. Or, oh wait, or I could use Goombario's charge plus multi-bonk abilities. Eh, I think Watt is better for just consistent damage. Let's use Chill Out. This guy's a little too powerful for my liking. Yeah, Chill Out got nerfed. It's only minus two attack power. That's not that good. And he's dealing this much damage even when I have Fire Shield and Defend Plus and Damage Dodge equipped. Oh, never mind. There we go. Oh, weird. Never mind! Each jump normally deals two damage. I have three badges equipped, so that ups it. Oh, is it literally just he for somehow has resistance to special badge attacks like multi bounce? Maybe that's it? Oh, if that's the case. Bring back Mario. Oh, weird. Okay, I guess he's just super defensive against um, multi bounce. Never mind. Oh, this guy's gonna be a cinch then. Alright, at this point... Does, wait, does Chilla take free... Chilla now takes free star power? What the heck? That's way too much. Uh, I'm gonna just eat a Super Shroom. Then we can have Goombario finish off Phase 1. I'm happy! Yeah, Happy Heart was a pretty good decision, I think. It's just, it's not letting me run out of HP very fast. Alright, goodbye Lava Piranha. And now the real fight begins.
Okay! Interesting. I'm gonna have... I want him to shoot out his little petite piranhas. So I'm actually going to let him attack first. Mario, you shan't fight alone! Colorado to the rescue! Hiya! Ow, ow, ow! Hot! Oh, it burns! Really? So sorry, old chap, but that's all I can do at the moment. Good luck with all this. <laughs> Thank goodness Colorado's around, huh? Those little Pac-Man power pellets do so much damage. And so does that breath attack. Tat on the Petite Piranha. This is a Petite Piranha. Peti uh, petite Piranha spew from Lava Buds. These things do serious damage, so watch it. And now it's time for Snowman Dolls! Jingle, jingle, jingle all the way. Oh no! He doesn't get frozen by Snowman Dolls! Okay, that makes it difficult. Alright, well that was the warm-up run. <laughs> Get it. Warm-up run. <laughs> also, I couldn't tell if he actually had status effects or not. I don't think he does, though. Alright. Well, if that's the case... Yeah, no status effects. Okay, that's good. We don't need Flower Saver, then. We, we will not need Flower Saver for this fight. Zap tap would be useless. Honestly, multi bounce might not really. Hmm. I guess it depends on how much damage Tidal Wave does. I'll keep it on just because why not? It's not really hurting me in any way. Maybe I'll just equip two HP pluses, honestly. Or I could equip, like, Power Rush Last Stand. Actually, yeah, I think it's... I'll do one HP plus, but I do also want Power Rush and Last Stand. And I'll do... I'll throw in Close Call, just... Because <laughs> why not? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, Mobius, how's it going? That's okay if you can't watch, watch from all. We failed at the boss once, but we have we now know what we're getting into. I now know that for some reason the boss just has a great immunity to multi bounce, so things should go better. Alert, alert, alert. <laughs> yeah, you better alert your boss. Mario's coming. Alright, lava piranha. Things are gonna get hot for you too, you know. Oh man, I, lo I love this fight so much. We're gonna tattle on Lava Piranha, and only Lava Piranha for now. We're gonna save tattling on the Lava Buds for like- oh. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. So if I switch to Sushi, how much FP does Tidal Wave take? NINE?! Well, that's a- that's a lot! We're gonna try it out, though. That is hard to do on a GameCube controller. Alright, but at this point we can now just make him pay. Alright, at this point, his first phase should go easy peasy, limb and squeezy. Although, we are low on FP. Honestly, I'm okay if we go into danger mode. Danger mode will make us even more powerful, it'll make us take half damage. 
or rather, it'll have their attack power. And it'll make us occasionally just dodge their attacks for no reason. Okay, well... I don't want that to happen, so I will eat a boiled egg. Which is funny, because we're in a volcano. Boiled egg. It was not boiled when we came in here. There we go, at last. Alright, goodbye, Lava Piranha. He has such a cool design, and I love... I love the fake out where like you're like you beat him and nope there's actually a second form. Love the music, love the atmosphere, love his attacks, and I love getting to use snowman dolls against him. Oh, I see. So we actually So we have to hit him multiple times before he cools down. Mario, you shot fight alone. Colorado looks so tired when he's when he's running in on that. So sorry, old chap, but that's all I could do. It was so hot yesterday you could have boiled an egg on your driveway. Oof. I honestly don't mind that hot weather. Alright. Tattle on your petite piranha. This is the only time in the game, as far as I can tell, that you can tattle on those unless they become common enemies later on. So now Snowman Doll! Wow. It literally lags the game. <laughs> oh no! Jingle, jingle, jingle all the way! <laughs> there we go. That'll take care of the lava bloods. Uh, we are running on HP, so we're gonna out of sight, Vegemite Larry boy. I do not, I am not going to rely on last stand to just, uh, saving our butts. Oh my gosh, look at that damage. Why did he not, what? I don't understand, why did he not get crumpled that time? Oh no, that seems bad. Okay, so this guy just has no rhyme or reason whether or not he gets frozen by your attack. That's fair. Wow. Okay, this guy definitely got some bumps in difficulty. I'm gonna keep the same badge set up, but... Yeah, I don't like how it's totally random whether or not you will actually crumple him when you jump on him. I'm okay with you needing to do it twice consecutively, but I'm not cool with it just being like, maybe you crumple him, maybe you don't. Well, that was embarrassing. Honestly, my new plan, get into danger as soon as possible. At least in his first form, I don't think once he's in danger, he'll be able to do a whole lot. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I see. The Lava Buds are giving him extra defense. see clearly now. I get you now. I get you. Okay, with last stand, we should be pretty much invincible now. Especially with uh, close call. I don't have anything that just heals a little HP, so that's unfortunate.
I wonder if Sushi's Tidal Wave will be effective against this guy in his second phase, like if that'll guarantee cool enough, or if Squirt will. Oh wow, that was... that's a perfect kill. Alright! <laughs> Apart from the lackluster beginning, that actually went very well. But now I'm a little bit worried. I'm gonna need to up my HP. Ooh, or... No, I, I need to up my HP. I'm gonna need to, uh, hot shroom. Oh my gosh, all of these items that I have are unintentionally punny because we're in a volcano. We actually just might be in trouble here. Because he deals so much damage with his default attack. Snowman Doll is not going to cool him down, and he's going to deal so much damage with his second attack as well. And I, I do want to tattle on those stupid petite piranhas. Ouch, yeah. So much damage, and I'm not even in danger yet. Uh, <laughs> do I just have to hope that... I just have to hope that the snowman doll cools his head. It's not going to, but I gotta hope. Oh, it did crumple him! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Now we can chuck a potato salad. Now we can switch over to sushi. Where we can perform our signature tidal wave. Okay. Tidal wave is really hard to perform on the GameCube controller. Okay, that does crumple him, though. We're gonna use another snowman doll. I think I, f I think I figured it out. I think Sushi's water will cool him down, whereas ice attacks like Snowman Doll and Ice Power don't always. You right in the eye. Okay, that's the key. That's the key right there. Oh no, he's coming back. It's a good thing that I carry another Snowman Doll for just this kind of situation. Man, not even that one didn't crumple this time. Oh boy. Okay, so he he just kind of randomly crumples or not. Okay, I think I see how it is. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna chug a maple syrup like it's nothing. No problem. Whatever. Yeah, squirt on him. That's the key. Ouch. Oh man, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. <sighs> Got a tidal wave. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh, that, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, yes. And now I think a jump on his head is going to kill him. Well, it's not if I fail the action command. There we go. Bye, Lava Piranha! Oh, man, that was such a tough fight. That was a good fight, but that was a really tough fight. Well, that's that then. Then there's now there's nothing between us and some treasure, eh? Let's go. He's all about that treasure.
Now, how have they nerfed this Star Spirit? Thus far, Refresh got a buff, and every other Star Spirit has been nerfed. I don't like it. The Star Spirits were really not overpowered. End of chapter! Venturing deep into the steaming Mount Lava Lava, Mario and friends plucked the Lava Piranha and rescued the fifth star spirit, Mistar, from a fiery fate. But the treasure Colorado is looking for is yet to be found. Wherever could it be? What's that? Something strange is going on around here. Uh-oh. That's not good. Mario, this way! We must hurry! Yes, ma'am. The treasure doesn't seem to be anywhere around here. Gad, where could it be? I like how the, the dungeon... This this chapter's the epitome of, like, you thought it was over, but it's not quite over yet. First the boss fight, and now the chapter itself. Aha! Treasure! Uh, no, it's, um, some sort of starfish. Hmm, this won't do. The adventure's never over until the treasure is found. Ah, yes, of course! Perhaps that horrible fiery monster had it and was hiding it somewhere. Yes, that's it. I'll just run back and check. Hmm, hmm? What's this trembling, then? Uh, probably nothing. Kids with fireworks, no doubt. Now, after that treasure! No, wait! Yeah! Hot! So hot! The, that's lava, isn't it? It's coming near! We must flee! No, no, the treasure is still here. I just know it. Mario, this volcano is going to erupt any time now. It's far too dangerous to go back the way you came. We have to escape another way. I feel a slight wind coming from this cracked wall. There could be a room beyond. Mario, can you blow up this wall? I cannot. Bombette can, though. Mario, hurry! The lava's getting higher! Is this gonna be at an accelerated rate? <laughs> oh! I knew it! At last! The treasure is right there! So close! Can't resist! By the stars, I'll risk my life for that treasure! <laughs> my treasure! No! <laughs> Oh man, what an exciting end to that chapter. And of course it's not done yet, it's time for Peach Intermission! Oh, I'm sorry, it's time for Peach Intermission. Hey Twink, how would you feel about sneaking out of here again? Shall we try? Princess Peach! You've gotten so bold! And here I thought you were gentle and delicate! Oh, I... I am delicate. I'm behaving like a delicate princess, just like the ministers taught me to. I love to be delicate. Okay, okay, I believe you, Peach. You're the princess. Anyway, let's go for it. Yeah, nobody forget. I'm the most delicate of all princesses. Princess Peach, you don't mess with the Mushroom Kingdom. Alright, how many times will I get caught by the Koopa Patrol guards, folks? <laughs> oh, maybe zero times. Yeah, I I randomly, because I can't do girls' voices, I just decided I'm going to do like a mobster voice for Peach, and I ran with it. Oh! It's Princess Peach! How'd she get out? King Bowser's really gonna flip his wig if we don't take her back to her room for, like, the eighth time. Now hang on just a second. Get a grip on yourself, okay? No need to panic. She can't get out of the castle anyway. And besides, what do you think about asking Princess Peach to participate in our little game? She'd be ideal, and we need a third person. 
Hmm, uh, yeah, yeah! He might be onto something! Okay, let's do it! Princess Peach, have you been listening? Uh, come this way. We won't tell King Bowser about your escape if you help us with this little game we're playing. Well, uh, we're set up right over there! Oh no! Princess Peach! I wonder if these questions will change. Koopa Corpse presents the 64th Trivia Quiz-Off! I'm your host, Mr. Hammer! <laughs> it's Family Feud, uh, Peach. Oh, okay. Let's get right to it, hey? I'm gonna ask you ten questions, and the contestant who gets the most right is our winner! Press A when you think you know the answer, okay, folks? The winner will get a gorgeous, fabulous prize! Good luck to you, all of you! Oh, and I gotta tell you, we're also given prizes just for participating, so everybody will be a winner! That's just the kind of show we are! Ugh, participation trophies, gross. Ready? Question one. What's the name of the boss inside the volcano on Lava Lava Island? All right, Princess Peach. It was the Lava Piranha. Goomba! That's correct! <laughs> Let's go on to the next question, okay, folks? Question two. Where did Master Huff and Puff imprison the Star Spirit? All right, Princess Peach. Uh, Flower Fields. I've played the game before. That's correct! Okay, these, these are the same questions. Okay, next. Question three. What is the name of the scary round monster living in Dry Dry Ruins? It's a chomp. That's correct! You've still got a chance to make a comeback! Question four. How would you get to Flower Fields? Alright, Princess Peach. <laughs> Pray. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's wrong. The answer was by passing through the Flower Gate. You didn't even get the other ch guys a chance to answer. It's still anyone's game. Question five. What's the name of the person Bowser really likes? Uh, Princess Peach. That's correct! <laughs> Careful now. Question six. What fane is most deeply related to Flower Fields? Would it be flowers? <laughs> How did you guess, Princess Peach? <laughs> the next question is an easy one, folks. Question seven. What's the name of the most admirable, invincible, just downright cool guy around? All right, Spiky Tom. Uh, Keen Bowser, of course. That's correct. <laughs> I was going to answer Mario. <gasps> Think carefully now. <laughs> question eight. What's the name of the ghost who hangs around the Forever Forest? Oh, those are boos. Ah, that's correct. Use your memory on this one. Question 9. What's the name of the area just to the south of the post office in Toad Town? Uh, the Flower Garden. That's correct. Now for the final question. Stay calm, everyone. Question 10. Where is Peach's castle now? Princess Peach. <laughs> it's on Bowser's castle. That's correct. <laughs> Blue Koopa Patrol's like, I think my buzzer was broken. I didn't get to answer anything. <laughs> so the 64th trivia quiz off has ended in great success. The winner is, wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. Congratulations, Peach! Here's your prize. Jam and jelly! You kinda want that. Thank you for coming, everyone! It's been grand. We'll see you at the next trivia quiz off! Also, that Koopa Troll on the left, Spiky Tom, just literally ran into a wall on the left. There's nothing over there. Oh, Princess Peach, I almost forgot. Here's your prize for participating. Sneaky Parasol! This is a sneaky parasol. If you face someone and press B, you can transform into that person. How does that work? <laughs> you just have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, <laughs> nobody will know you were Princess Peach. Imagine. Sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. <laughs> hey, it's only a prize for participating, so what do you expect? What? That's the amazing prize. What the heck? The government would kill for that. Oh, speaking of the government. Huh? What are you all doing? Hey, it looks fun. I'm going to join in. And Peach here pulls off the slickest maneuver ever. <laughs> what? You've already finished? Nah, of all the rotten luck. Go ah! Princess Peach, what's she doing here? She sneaked out again! Grr! You, take Princess Peach back to her room, now! Ah, uh, yes sir. Sorry, Princess Peach. No! Oh, uh, Bowser, you got the worst guards ever. But we also love them. Oh, woe is me, my beautiful treasure. Listen to you. No treasure in the world is more valuable than life. Be thankful you escaped. To think this island was put in terrible peril because of the meddling of Bowser's men. I think it will work out okay. The eruption will subside and Lava Lava Island will be just the same as it used to be. But... <sighs> Dear Mario, you have saved five of us star spirits now. Just a few more to go. My name is Miss Star. Let me grant you the power that will help you along. The power for me to kiss you and restore your HP. Unless they change that. 
Mario Star Energy goes up to 5. Mario can now use Smooch, a new Star Spirit power. Smooch, you can restore Mario's HP. Yeah, that's the same. I have to go back to Star Haven for now. But if you need me, please call on me at any time. I will be watching you and wishing for your success. I know that you'll see the princess soon enough, Mario. Have faith. Thank you again for saving me. See you soon. So everyone, vote in Twitch chat. Is that supposed to be her hair, or is that like a ribbon that's tied around her? Oh, I was so close. The treasure, right there. And then to get saved and yelled at by some sort of gloomin' great starfish. He looks so sad. Always thought it was a ribbon? I have literally no idea. It's probably supposed to be a ribbon. I mean, stars don't have hair. Uh, what? Oh, we get... Okay. Mmm! Something smells really good! I want to try it! Here, you can have my boil bag. I don't really need it. Oh, thank you! It looks so good! Oh, yeah! Here, take this as a thank you from me! It grows in a place that only I know about! Trust me, it's good! We get a melon! We're gonna need another one of those. Also, what do you mean, only you know about it? They sell them at the store! Welcome to Yoshi's Cabana! Alright, what else did I make that I can give away without it really being risky? Wait, I already had a sweet shroom? But I have one in my inventory! I could get the bland meal or the- oh, probably the apple pie, honestly. There you go! Oh, also, we gotta prep for the next uh, upcoming boss fight. Alright, no multi-bounce. Also, at this point, we no longer need ice power or that. Or we definitely are going to want spike shield. Uh, I'm going to re-equip flower saver, because why not? I think uh, hammer fro could also be a good one. For yeah, there we go. Here's your apple pie. I like that Yoshi. He gives away free stuff. Not really free stuff. I must get my hands on the volcano's treasure! My keen intuition senses that there must still be a way. Hmm, I suppose there's a slim chance it was blown clear in the eruption. I'd best check around the village for some clues. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll check for you. <laughs> I'll taste it for you. It's the Volcano Vase, a treasure found inside Mount Lava Lava. How convenient. Alright, Sushi, you really you really helped me out of a jam for that boss fight. I really appreciate it, Sushi. We will probably never use you again, though. For combat. Oh, hello! How are you doing? What? You want that seed? Oh, I completely forgot you! I just gave it to a guy named Colorado or something. Sorry about that. I was- I'm so generous that I just have to give something to everyone. Uh, I- 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 you know what? I can't fault you for that, buddy. You seem like a swell guy. Maybe if I give Colorado a piece of cake. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, I found this, bro. Mario! Good heavens! It's the treasure! H how on earth did you... Well, I suppose that's of no consequence right now. You're giving it to me? You... You are giving it to me? Oh, glory! Marvelous! Dear man, you are quite simply the cat's meow. Cheers! Yes, hmm, I suppose. It's only proper that I give you this as thanks. It's at the magical seed. We're gonna need that. But Bob we'll gave it to me while I was off exploring. I'm sure it's quite a valuable seed, but I'm not interested in it at all, at all. Now that I've got the treasure, I proclaim this adventure to be a complete success. What a stupendous expedition. It will be forever recorded in the history of archaeology. Well, old boy, let's away. Back to Toad Town with us. Absolutely back to Toad Town with us. But before we go back to Toad Town, we should be sure to save.
Oh man, there's going to be a lot of side quest stuff for us to do when we get back to Toad Town. Alright. Well, well, Mario, old boy! Certainly took your time, eh? I had Speedy Spin equipped! Let's head back together, hmm? Yes, but you shouldn't have saved it. Look, do you want to go back to Toad Town? Yes, please! Nice slide, Goombario. What a heady adventure! I do love a lava island! Perchance someday I shall return to your shores. Wow! <laughs> yes! I, I did it! I swam! All the way! Alright, Mario. Now I'm gonna give you a beating you'll never... What? Wait! Where are you going? Wait, Mario! Wait up! Come back here, you chicken! Shoot! Oh, I say, it's just the most lovely of days for a ride on a giant tuna, wouldn't you say? It's just so peaceful. I say, Mario, do you hear something behind us? Well, it must be the wind. Thank heavens we've arrived! Now Tuna Ferrying is one experience I shan't do again. Cheers for the ride, though! I'm in your debt. For now, I'm heading back to Koopa Village to relax. My wife must be waiting for me. Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future, old boy. Cheerio! Wow! <laughs> I will never swim again for the rest of my life! Now, Mario, you're mine this time! Yeah! Does he not have help this time? <laughs> Here it comes! You... you'd better be ready! Oh, he still only has 20 HP this time. Sweet. <laughs> oh no! All that swimming! My HP is almost gone! Well, I'll make up for my low HP by using my new skills! Check this out! More power! I know all of your fighting patterns now, Mario. See my gear? The spike? The wings? You can't attack me now! I'm the smartest fighter alive! And check out what else I have in store for you. Um, what? You're not supposed to be able to do that. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Shoot the trooper. He swam all the way after us. This kid, he's got guts. He still flies, but now he has a spike on his head. It'll hurt if you jump on him. He seems tougher this time. Luckily for us, he also looks pretty tuckered out. Well, he should be tired. That little guy swam the lava lava in the back. Seems better to attack from a distance with an item or something, rather than attacking him directly. Okay! He's gonna kill us real fast, so let's use bow! Enemies can't use items, that's totally cheating! Only I'm allowed to use them! Well, oh boy. Okay. This is why we have hammer throw, folks. Oh, yeah! What the? I didn't think you could do that. Is that even legal? Oh my gosh! The sound effect that plays for that. <laughs> That's got a pack a wallop. <laughs> Thanks, Bo. <laughs> All right, goodbye, Junior Trooper. Didn't even need Spike Shield. Oh, not enough for a level up. 
Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I have wings! If I had just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP! Then I probably would have been Mario in no time! Stupid, stupid, stupid! about that Juju Troopa, but also not really. You're kind of a butt. <laughs> oh, hey, look who it is! Well, well, if it isn't Mario! How wonderful to see you! I came to go shopping today! It was a long walk to get here from Goomba Village. Yeah, no joke. But it was worth it to see you! I was hoping to see Goombario. I still can't tell if she has granny glasses or if those are her buck teeth and then has lipstick only between her buck teeth. I'm leaning towards the latter of those two. Mario! Nice to see you again! How's my brother doing? I really worry about him. After all, I am his sister. Well, speak of the devil. Look who it is. Goombario, you're looking just fine, aren't you? You be careful not to be a burden on Mario's adventure. Hey, no way I'm a burden! He upgraded me to ultra rank. I help out all the time! Well, well, our dear little Goombario is helping out the great Mario. I'm so proud. I'm going to tell Dad and Goomba. Mario, you must come over to our house again someday. Come on, stop it, Mom! You're embarrassing me! I'm not a kid anymore! Oh, don't be silly, Pumpkin! I'm not saying anything embarrassing at all. I just love you, that's all. Can't a mother be proud of her children? Aw, oh, Mom! You always treat me like a kid. Nyan, nyan, you Goombario's getting scolded! Shut up, Goombaria! Wah! Mom! Goombario's being mean! <laughs> Well, they've captured the sibling rivalry uh, just fa perfectly, haven't they? Do 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 boo do blam. All right, let's go see what's at new at the bad shop. I hope hoping Mega Quake is for sale. Mega Quake is for sale. It's Mega Quake. Oh yeah, we're gonna want that. That's such a good badge. A second damage dodge, absolutely. Super Smash Charge is a very sucky badge, but we're going to buy it anyways, because 100%. And I mean, like, it is a really sucky badge. What ho, old boy? I had his pleasant path, but can't see Koopa is blocking it. It appears he's quite strong, I say. A strong brute indeed. This is a bit of a sticky wicket. There's naught I can do. The only course of action is for me to search a, a secret passage to Koopa Village. I forgot about Kent C. Koopa. All right. You know what we're going to do, folks? We're going to attempt to fight Kent C. Koopa. Only once. And if we fail, we're just going to end the stream. But I know that his tricks. We're going to equip Sleep Stomp. It's his greatest weakness. Top of edge. Yeah, Flower Saver is going to be good. Damage dodge just in case. We don't need Spike Shield. And Zap Tap. It's the ultimate combo. We're going to take a nap. I definitely want to take a nap, Toad, because uh, Junior Troopa beat me up. It was quite rude of him. All right. One attempt on Kent C. Koopa. He's gener uh, if, if they made him so he's no longer super vulnerable to sleep, then uh, we might be in for some trouble. Hey, you in the hat. Wait. It's fine weather, isn't it? My name is Kent C. Koopa. Please remember it, okay? If you want to use this road, you need to pay me 100 coins. So sorry, but that's how it is. You don't pay, you don't pass. Coins make the world go round. It's all about the money. Fight. You want to fight? You're nuts. Look at me. I'll cream you. Because, to be frank, I'm very, very, very strong. Are you sure you want to fight? Yes. Well, I have no choice. I warned you, though. This may hurt a little bit. Alright, let's see if he's still vulnerable to Sleep Stomp. Nope! Doesn't appear he is. Great. It's Ken C. Koopa. He seems pretty big for a, a Koopa. Okay, well, this, um... This might be problematic. This is going to be problematic. He has 200 health. We are so unbelievably screwed. 
Also, you can jump on his tail, and it deals way more damage. At once, he's flipped. Okay, so... This guy just reached Super Boss. Like, he was already a Super Boss to begin with, but, um... This takes it to another level. Okay, that's great. Okay, well, yeah, we are, um... We are really hosed right here. He is... Oh my gosh, he has 200 HP. Just, just so people know, in Vanilla Paper Mario, the toughest of the tough bosses only had 99 HP. Maybe just Sleep Stomp doesn't work on him? Does Lullaby work? Nope! Okay, so the only thing that actually balanced him, which is that he was very susceptible to sleep, has been patched out, and he is now just a ludicrously powerful super boss. Okay. Well, that's going to be a boss we save for the end game. Wow! Is that guy Geo? He's all about the money. Ooh, the money. Yeah, he he definitely he definitely likes his money for sure. No doubt about that. All right. Well, shucks. Yeesh. That is definitely a bit of a bother right there. Definitely not expecting him to be that difficult. If A, he has now, like, quadruple the HP, double the attack power, and is immune to sleep. Yeah, I don't see much way of beating him very easily. Yeah, maybe I'll have to experiment. Maybe there's a different status effect he's really vulnerable to. Like, maybe he can be made dizzy really easily. But... In the meantime, that's all the time we have for today for Paper Mario Pro Mode. I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you all for joining in. This was a lot of fun. I loved Chapter 5. That was super fun. Next time, we're going to do some side quest stuff. I know there's the Ultra Blooper that we have to fight. And then we'll probably start in on Flower Fields, which is most people's least favorite world, but it's still my least favorite world as well. But I still enjoy it. It's still a fun world. There's just a lot of backtracking. Anyhow, hope you guys tune in for that. That's going to happen on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, because I wasn't really able to stream a whole lot on the weekend, like my weekend stream plans kind of fell through, and uh, my small group actually got postponed to Thursday, I might do a surprise stream tomorrow at, uh, again, the usual 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. No promises, but it could happen. So, just keep uh, stay around for that. It should be fun if it does happen. And anyhow... I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you all again for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your evening, and God bless.